is up there everybody, Citrus Aviation here for another video and today we have a model airport and this is going to be just one of those I just do randomly. There are some airports I just choose to do and this one I'm going to be doing Dallas Fort Worth International Airport today. This is going to be an American centered video except for this aircraft. This will be the only non-American Airlines aircraft I'm including today and that's because Breeze Airways has started to sell us the Dallas Fort Worth International Airport. It started on June the 7th. We start operating the Airbus A220-300 from Provo. That'll be twice weekly on Mondays and Fridays. And that'll be operating on this aircraft, 220s. Um, it's really Provo's only destination for Breeze that's farther than like an hour and a half away. So it's probably the closest that Breeze will have anytime soon to do a transcon flight out of Provo. But um, it is still a good destination, good service. Since then, the American Airlines has announced their own competition that we're flying to Provo from Phoenix and Dallas, but stay tuned to the uh, rerouted videos they do for more detailed information on that. But yeah, Breeze Airways started itself to Dallas Fort Worth, so I thought I might as well include that here to Provo. And then uh, the rest of the video will just be all American Airlines aircraft. So let's get started. Of course, Dallas Fort Worth is the home base for American Airlines, and so it's quite a few American aircraft. Here we have an American PSA, CRJ900, came in from Augusta, Georgia, going out to Louisville. I find a lot of the big hub airports to be really fun to do because you get to do a lot of routes that you otherwise would not do to a lot of really small destinations, and American Airlines solves a lot of unique small destinations here out of Dallas Fort Worth. Here we have an Airbus 319S, this is the one with uh, circlets. This aircraft came from Eagle, Colorado, We're going out to Key West, Florida. They do use day 319 S's on very specific routes where they're going to have short runways or performance restrictions. 319S does have slightly better range and some other performance improvements over the standard Airbus 319. But it is really cool to uh, see this aircraft and this is a, one of the more recent models I picked up. And another reason I'm doing this one, because I, I do have a, a lot of American Airlines models now that I've picked up in the last year or so, and this is another one that's been added. Envoy Air is a big operator here out of Dallas Fort Worth. It is also their home base. Envoy Air is the wholly owned subsidiary regional airline of American Airlines. Here we have this aircraft it came in from Peoria, and we're going out to Bloomington, both destinations in Illinois. Quite a few interesting destinations sold here on Envoy to a lot of the smaller cities there in Texas. They're in the southeast and to a lot of Midwest cities. And so those are two of the ones they operate uh, as American Airlines brings air service to a lot of these smaller destinations. Another E-175 came in from Baton Rouge. We're going out to Little Rock. The third and final 175 came from Tulsa. We're going out to Bentonville. So be noted there's only, from my understanding, one 175 fly a day currently to Dallas out of Tulsa. The rest of them are all mainline aircraft, but there is one 175 a day. Then we have another 319. This aircraft came in from Columbia in South Carolina. That's the capital city of South Carolina there. And then he came in from Jackson Hole, Wyoming Airport. We are going to be seeing SARS to all three Jackson airports here out of Dallas. And this one is Jackson, Wyoming. Of course, Dallas Fort Worth does get a lot of wide body SARS. Of course, here we have an American Airlines Boeing 777-200ER. This aircraft is in the One World livery. So that guy came in from Dublin and we're going out to Frankfurt. Next up we got this American Airlines Boeing 777 200 ER. This aircraft came in from Madrid and we're going out to Los Angeles. Of course this one is in the standard livery. I do not have any of the NG models. American 777s, these are just the German Jets ones. Of course they're not as good as the NG, but these do still fit the pops of what I need. And because American is not the biggest portion of my collection, it's not like a huge focus like how Delta is, these models do solve the purpose and they do just fine. Yes, the NGs are better, and at some point I would like to get them, but you know, this does the job that I need for an American 777 for now. Next up, we got a Boeing 737-800. This aircraft came from Chicago here, and then he'll be going out to Kansas City. That's flight 2064. I was on this flight. There are going to be several flights represented that I've been on in this video. And this is the first of four. The next three aircraft will also have flights I've been on. Another 737-800 stand livery. This one, of course, the gray winglets instead of the updated logo winglets. 
I don't really like the new logo on the winglets. I mean, I've gotten used to it, but I still don't like it. This aircraft came in from Jacksonville, Florida. I was going out to Omaha at flight 2188. I was on that flight as well. Here we have an Airbus 321. This aircraft came from Nashville. I'm going out to Salt Lake City as flight 2065. Another one of the flights I've been on. Here we have another A321. This aircraft came from Pittsburgh. We're going to Des Moines. It's flight 1371. This was for a while when the turn into Des Moines was an A321. And I would fly on that one. I did fly on it once. It was really cool to get on it. Usually seats are pretty open so you could get a nice seat on it, which is fantastic. Next up, we got a Max 8. This aircraft came in from New York LaGuardia. Uh, the only Max I could really find was this one going to LGA. All the other Maxes, there weren't really any operating. There was one that I saw being delivered, but uh, this was the only one operating for regularly scheduled service. Here we go, the first of several retros. Uh, this is an A321, came in from Philadelphia. We're going out to Pensacola. Another beautiful A321. This one is in the PSA Retro. Another one, the new A321s, the General Jets model. And of course, it has the new GSC with it too, which looks really, really nice. Uh, this aircraft came in from Boston Logan, going out to Orlando. One of the interesting things about American Airlines is they don't really have a larger mainline aircraft. This is one of the things with the loss of the Boeing 757 that there really isn't a large mainline aircraft outside of like a 8321-737-900. So you're seeing a lot of airlines, including American here, operate these to very small places like Des Moines, Knoxville, Pensacola, as well as to the biggest destinations, the hub routes are operating these. You're seeing them to Chicago, Phoenix, Philadelphia, um, Miami, Los Angeles, places like that, you're seeing the 8321. The only real step up that you'll see from something larger than this it's going to be like a 787. Whereas when the 757 was around, that really was a distinguishing aircraft, or 727 was a larger mainline aircraft, whereas now you don't really have that, you know, 200 to 250 seat aircraft anymore in operation. And so instead, it's just seeing a lot more frequency on aircraft like A321s to busier destinations. And that's just how airlines are choosing to do things right now. Here we have a Boeing 737-800. This aircraft came from, from Norfolk and I'm going out to Austin. Of course, you could have that wonderful GSC there, uh, represented by Jet Set models. Really, really good quality GSC and I hope to buy more of it in the future as well. Um, this stuff looks really, really good. Price is great. You're buying from someone who does these himself, which is super awesome because you can buy Fantasy Wings too. They have good quality stuff and you can buy from other custom 3D printed people on eBay or whatever, but this is really some of the best I've seen in terms of the custom 3D printed GSC. Really, really good stuff and I highly recommend it. Next up, we got an Airbus 320 here. This aircraft came in from Asheville and I'm going out to Sioux Falls, South Dakota. And I just realized when looking at that second 320, I missed my first one. This is the original German Jets American 320 release. This is a uh, one that they made back in 2017, April 2017 release. Uh, this aircraft here came from Grand Rapids and we're going out to Boise. Uh, this aircraft is parked between the A321 and the 737-800 there. Got this little setup here with a bunch of buses and other vehicles parked here. It looks pretty cool to kind of have like a place for GSC to be parked. You will see this at airports. They're usually not going to be taking out one or two gate spaces to do it, but you will see this at quite a few airports and it's, I thought something cool to add. And then here you can see the first of three American Airlines retros. Um, let's get that in focus, actually. Here you can see the first of three American Airlines retro. Of course, we got the Reno Air. This aircraft came from Atlanta. We're going out to Minneapolis. The TWA retro came in from Memphis. And we're going out to New York LaGuardia. And the Air Cal retro came in from Richmond. And we're going out to New Orleans. Another cool retro is the American Eagle Retro, ERJ-170. This is operated by Envoyer. You do see out of Dallas quite a bit. This aircraft came in from Jackson, Mississippi, or final Jackson City. And we're going out to Lubbock in West Texas. And then here we have our last model for the video. This is the American Airlines Boeing 787-8. This aircraft came in from Paris Charles de Gaulle. And we're going out to Shanghai in China. One of the few routes that is sanctioned into China as China has had quite a few restrictions on how many flights can fly into the country. So this is one of the few US routes 
on an American carrier that is allowed. So it's kind of interesting to see that. It's a 787 8. That was kind of hard to see due to Jeff Bridge cutting off, but yeah, that's an American 787 8. Interestingly enough, I do not have an American 787 9. That is the only currently operated wide body for American that I am missing. Once I get that, I will have every American Airlines wide body type in my collection. So that's it for this primarily only American Airlines um, video for Dallas Fort Worth International Airport. What did you all think of it? Um, let me know if you want to see me do DFW again. Some of these airports I'm like I would do multiple times, some of them not as much. This might just be a one-off, we'll have to see. But yeah, that's basically it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a great day. God bless.